Guys, happy Monday. It's Alex from Crea Studio here. I'm really excited to uh, have you. And uh, I'm going to start doing this QA thing uh, at least once a week, uh, maybe even once a day, depending on sort of how much uh, interest you guys have or how many questions you guys ask. But um, yeah, today I'm going to start with a question that I saw on Quora, which I thought was really, really interesting. And it was a great question to ask. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, I think it'll provide a lot of value to you guys as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start off uh, with the question. And if you ever have a, if you have a question for me or anything related to digital marketing or, um, you know, landing pages, websites, uh, chatbots, uh, sales funnels, ads, go ahead and leave your, your question below and uh, I'll answer it the best, uh, the best I can. Even sales, also sales processes, whatever you want to ask about, um, I'd be happy to ask, uh, happy to answer and make a video about it. Uh, for everybody's uh, enjoyment and uh, and value. So here we go. The question today is, how do you maintain excellent service quality when expanding your business from a one-man show to a team was the, was the question verbatim. So right now you're running the business pretty much yourself, doing all the work, running around, left, right, up, down, <laughs> like we all probably have at some point here. And uh, you're looking to kind of expand into a team and you kind of want to know the principles and some of the things that you should look out for when you're when you're doing that. So I've got some things to keep in mind here. And the first thing is to keep your hiring standards high. You want to make sure that every hire that you make is uh, is a more talented, a higher quality hire. Um, as you go, you want to make sure that you're responding to your client's needs um, and you want to make sure your service is just getting better and better and better and better over time. Otherwise, your, your business will die. Honestly, it will go under. Um, so you need to keep on increasing the performance, keep on increasing um, the quality of your hires, the quality of your freelancers, the, the quality of your team um, as you go along. So that's number one. Keep your standards high. Number two is make sure you have solid, repeatable systems in place already that they can go ahead and enter into. So you want to really have, you know, your steps in place, your process in place that that you prefer. And um, and you want to make sure that you guide your hire along, you want to guide your freelancer along so that, I mean, they may be one of the most talented people in the world, but without guidance from a leader, um, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of varying results and they may just do it kind of how they do it. And now you've got kind of a disjointed team that's kind of doing whatever they want to do. Um, obviously their input is going to be important, but you want to make sure that you have a solid process in place, a solid repeatable system in place that you can give them that'll make their results consistent and better and better, and also help them, um, improve the system and help them get better as a result of the system. Okay. Um, so secondly, uh, number one, hiring standards are uh, keep those high, keep those higher and higher and higher and higher and keep those going up and get that exponential growth going. Uh, number two, get some systems in place that are solid and repeatable so that you can, can deliver consistent results 100% of the time. And number three, you want to build long term relationships with your hires. You want to treat them like human beings. You want to treat them like. Um, like people that, that you depend on, the people that you respect. And, you know, you don't just want to, uh, you know, build up tasks on top of their table, on top of their, on top of their desk and, and make them feel like a robot. You want to be a cool person, um, you know, say hi, say how you doing, say happy Monday, have a great weekend, yada, yada. You know, just be a human being, you know, really. And I see a lot of people kind of um, falter with this and they kind of make this excuse like, oh, it's so hard to hire people. Where are all the good people at? How do I hire? Well, you know, you got to treat them like good people too. So it's really important that you build long-term relationships. And even if they go on and, you know, have another job later on, or they get employed by, you know, Google next week or whatever, that that's totally fine and support them in their journey, man. And go out and find another great hire, even better than that one, right? That, that you can build those systems around and nurture, and nurture into your system. Um, so those are really the top three that I want to, and, and there's also a fourth that I just thought of. And that is, Really learn about leadership. Learn about what it means to be a leader. And I think that it's, it's very difficult. This was the hardest thing for me to, um, you know, and, I, and obviously I'm not a, a, an expert on this at all, but I am definitely learning a lot recently, um, the last few years about, you know, what it means to be a leader, what it means to lead people, um, and what it means to have a good company culture. And that all comes from leadership and learning the elements of leadership. And maybe in another video, I'll go over kind of the main elements of leadership. I really recommend the book Think and Grow Rich uh, from Napoleon Hill on this subject. You can learn a lot about sort of leadership and, and take, you know, kind of what is expected of a great leader. Um, and that's a, that's a cool little, uh, a cool little tidbit there. And um, let's see. Um, and then the other option. So building out a team is definitely, you know, it, it's a big chunk of time. It's a big investment and it can be really difficult. So um, I'll, I'll do, I'll use this last uh, minute here as a plug here that, you know, instead of building out a team, 
Another option is to go find, you know, a company, a white label provider, an outsourcing partner, a strategic partner that does a similar thing that you could like fit into their system. Um, find someone that's already doing basically what you want to do, but you're doing it differently and employ them and, and, you know, white label their services, use them as your back office and, um, and basically adapt into their systems that they, they hopefully have, um, they should have. And, uh, and so, yeah, so that's where kind of a white label provider comes in, where a strategic partnership comes in, where basically you can kind of alleviate yourself. You still have to be a leader. You still have to maintain these principles, but you know, within that, uh, structure as well, but um, you can kind of save yourself all the time and investment of kind of having to piece by piece build your team together, um, you know, and you can just kind of get jump started into it um, and use their processes and systems, adapt into that, make your life a lot easier and make your customers happy and all that good stuff. So as far as websites, landing pages, all that goes, if you're looking for a white label partner, we uh, can definitely talk and see if we're a good fit for you. Um, but I hope that this video gave you a lot of value and, uh, you know, uh, definitely maintain excellent service quality when you expand and do that by uh, keeping your hiring standards high, making sure that there's systems in place and absolutely making sure that you build long term relationships and be a real person with these people. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy your Monday. And uh, I will buzz back in with another question. Um, go ahead and share this video if it, if it helped you at all. Um, go ahead and you know, share it with your friends, anybody that you might know that might help out. And um, yeah, give me a like, give me a comment with a question you have. Let's get this thing rolling. Take care, guys.